Welcome to my third video on the battery tender. Today's test is going to be using the battery tender with the kilowatt meter. And I plugged that in, so it's at zero right now. It's been connected for a few minutes, so it should be fully charged soon. I let it charge um, for like an hour before I did this. But the twist for this test is that I also have the EVSE connected to another kilowatt meter. And this is an L1 EVSE, and it is only running at 12 amps. And this is connected to the car. The car was already at 80%, so it is fully charged for today. So I'm going to see if the EVSC turns on at all during the night. I'm going to run this test for about 12 hours, and it'll be interesting to see if the EVSC turns on at any point to charge the high-voltage battery pack. And I'm also interested to see if the battery tender also charges and uses energy to charge the 12 volt battery where it's connected right now so in 12 hours we'll see the results welcome back it's now 12 hours later let's check up on the status of the car as we can see, the EVSE has only used a tiny amount of power here, 0 0.012 kilowatt hours. My guess is that this very small amount of usage is due to probably keeping the LED lights and the circuitry on for the EVSE. And it's not actually powering the car at this point or any time during the last 12 hours. Still showing connected. And it is attached to the car, no LED light. Let's go around and look at the battery tender. Battery tender is showing fully charged, not surprising. And here is the amount of kilowatt hours that were used over the past 12 hours. 0.58 and this pretty much mirrors the results of my last 12 hour test let's go inside the car and let's see if it's still at 80 percent all right so here we go we have 286 miles on the state of charge 80 percent which is what i left it at last night so the car did not lose any percentage off of the high voltage battery pack which is a good thing so if you are using a battery tender that can also avoid the evse getting used so that's good to know i wasn't sure which would take priority if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, especially if you have any other ideas for testing of the high voltage battery pack and the 12 volt battery, especially with the battery tender in this vehicle. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.